Welcome to the channel. This reading will be focused on Gypsy Rose. Um, mm, yeah, um, if you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. I'm pretty familiar with uh, her situation because of the age I am and when the whole thing happened, I remember pretty clearly. Um, so there's been ups and downs since she's gotten out. People loved her, it was super supportive, and now it seems like the masses have turned. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think, now this is a general reading for entertainment purposes only, but I think um, what I wanna do is kinda peek in on the energy from yesterday, okay? And then I kind of want to ask what her current energy is and see, you know, the difference. And um, I think I'm going to pull some of these. I have this deck here, and I haven't really, I haven't used it up here, but... Being that's called the Gypsy Oracle cards, I don't know, maybe we'll pull some out and see what comes out. So, if you're new here, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the person on my mind. And right now, I want to tune in. I want to tune into Gypsy Rose's energy. And see if we can peek in on yesterday, that time, the energy that was... Surrounding her when you know what happened. Okay. I'm going to tune into Gypsy's energy from yesterday. Can we see, please, that time? The time in Gypsy's life. When her mother was on the earth, that, that, that day, I guess. Um, show me Gypsy's energy that day. The day, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the strength card. All right, well, I just looked it up and she's a Leo. So this is the Leo card. Um... That could represent that on that day, like the day, because I'm just trying to kind of focus not so much everything leading up to that, because, look, if you know her story, you know her story. I can't even imagine that, with you know, that whole thing. On both the ends, the mother and, and her, both those energies. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Anyway, this is the Leo card, and that's what... Gypsy Rose's Zodiac is, as far as I know. And this could represent on that day, she was, she was feeling like, like she was gonna take back her power, is what I just felt. Um, you know, go up against the beast, conquer the beast. Uh, all right, let's look a little deeper. It could also represent the feeling of coming into one's own power um, and maybe even representing um, feeling like like it was going to take a lot of strength to get through that day. Um, tell us more, I guess. Oh, you always... I just see. All right, all right. Just saw a five of swords. And the king of coins. Oh, he's... All right. All right. Well, this is representing the overall energy of Gypsy Rose on that day. Um, I guess let's look a little deeper. So, I guess... Again, this is a general reading for entertainment purposes only. Show me, um... Oh, man. 
I don't know how to word this. Because this whole thing that, like, you know, I didn't do the actual act. You know what I'm saying? Um, and again, I'm not judging that these people, the situation, any of them, all right? That's not for me to do. I don't judge. I just ask questions, pull cards, and tell you what they mean and what I feel from it. But... All right. Um, was was Gypsy's intention in the relationship with Nick? Right. I hope I got his name correct. Apologies if I did not. Was that intention to manipulate? Like, what was the intentions with creating a relationship with? The, this masculine energy. What was the purpose of that? Like, was there a manipulative... <sighs> Alright. The Eight of Sword. Three of Sword. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And on the bottom here, there's an Eight of Coin, there's a Ten of Cups, and there's a Queen of Cups. Well, I would say that this represents for... For Gypsy. That, you know, this energy in this card, the Eight of Coins, is the person that's worked really, has worked for years and years and years on the same task. And I'd say this energy looks really tired. Like their feet and their hands are either frostbitten or bleeding. They've been doing this thing nonstop and they're tired. Even these birds, like this person wants to get away. The Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Maybe desiring an actual love relationship with this person. The Queen of Cups. This is all the emotions. Um, desiring to be nurtured. Desiring to have a person to share a cup with. To have some sort of future with. A family. A, like, love. Real love. Mm -hmm. Um... And the stars underneath it. So it's like the dream, the hope, the aspiration. So this could have to do with, you know... And there's a king of wands underneath it. I don't know. I know that DD was a Taurus. I know that Gypsy is a Leo. I, I didn't look up Nick's zodiac sign. Um, not that it super matters, but this could represent that, like, this person had passion towards Gypsy and her dream and hope, you know, um, that she may have, I was going to say, was using emotions and feelings to manipulate the situation, but I mean, I'm going to say someone that went through, and again, I have no idea what that's like. I mean, I've been through my own stuff, but not, not like that. That's, you know... And such trauma, I mean, it would be just second nature to a person coming from this situation to view love a certain way, um, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Because I'm trying to, like, see what she, this manipulative nature that, you know, people are talking about. Was it... Now, I will say this. All right, this Eight of Swords, this is based on a fairy tale or folklore called Donkey Skin. And it's really messed up. If you don't know it, go look it up. I don't even think I could really explain all the details of it up here without getting in trouble or something. It's, it's dark as all. Holy heck. But the Eight of Swords overall represents a person that's holding on to things like these swords are like things places people experiences that are hindering this energy but they are, are choosing as far as i feel to not fully let go like they can't let go but they're not letting go they either don't have the skills the the lessons the they haven't utilized ways to deal with it you know so they're holding on and this energy is even like I mean, if forget the donkey skin tail associated with the image. If you just look at this, this is a person that's hiding. 
hiding under a skin, a donkey skin. But, um, this Three of Swords, the tail connected to this image. And, I mean, if you look at her, she's cutting her wing. She's harming herself, okay? Um, the Three of Swords is all about heartbreak. The kind of heartbreak where you physically feel it in your chest. Like, it, it affects everything. Your waking and sleeping life. Like, you, it's the most severe depths of heartbreak. Um, and this Wheel of Fortune... I don't want to mess up the, the name of this, this character. But basically... The Wheel of Fortune is the Wheel of Life, and it turns and it spins, and we can't control it. We have to try to control ourselves in those circumstances. Um, it could talk about destiny, the Wheel of Fortune. But this character, he weaves webs. Okay? Um, so, I'm feeling like this is saying during that time that we're peeking back on, that Gypsy you know, was <clears throat> in an energy where she's like trying to come into, she's trying to free herself of this beast. She's what she views as this, this beast that has controlled her is trying to, I mean, I mean, she is battling. Battling the beast there. Um, this is making me feel like... Like she was preparing to go hide. Um, like, at, you know what I mean? Like, this is the day. So she's finding all of her strength. Like, you're gonna have to be... As strong as you've ever been, you know, like, this day is happening. Um, knowing she can't really escape all that led her to that point. And even in this tale that's connected to this image in this, in this deck, this is, like, a princess who's trying to escape, um, and goes into hiding. Okay? And then has to, like, figure out if she's gonna go back. To the place she came. Back to her life. <clears throat> Which was like tortured. Her life was rough. Uh, really rough. And this Three of Swords. I guess this is like even facing how she's like hurt herself. You know? Up to this point. But, so in this image, this character is basically harming herself. And her husband, that's the shadow back there, doesn't, he's like spying on her, trying to figure out what is she doing. I'm not telling the tale totally correctly, but this is the gist of it. And basically, he thinks that she's doing all these horrible things, hiding it from him, but really the stuff that she's doing is for him, kind of thing. So I'm just feeling that's very much like what she felt kind of about the relationship with her mom. You know, she's hurting herself. Except in, you know, in this tale, the husband's not really aware, but in Gypsy's case, the mother is the reason. Um, and maybe even, like, you know, tired of doing that. Right? Tired of hurting herself. Deciding, I'm not gonna, you know, came, came to that conclusion leading up to this... I can't remember how long she was talking to that person, Nick, if it was... Three months, th three weeks, if there's a three involved or an eight or something, but, um, and maybe even I just felt this knowing it was going to probably hurt the person, this, this person, Nick, but willing to sacrifice, you know, um, their, like, like not really... Weaving the web, like, like, destiny. Her mother had control of her destiny. She's choosing, like, at some point, I'm going to take control of my destiny. And I'm even feeling like she got this... 
Let me ask real quickly. Because I'm just kind of curious. How did she... Because I just felt like she had this idea. Like, like she couldn't do it herself. Four of Cups. She couldn't do it um, herself, I feel like. And kind of went online. See, now these just came out. Let's see. All right. Mm, came out for a reason. I was going to ask why. Like, did she... So I see this emperor on the bottom. And that's a strategic energy. I was just trying to, like... Because I just felt like a book. That she had read some sort of book and got this idea that, like, you know, I could get someone to do this for me. Like, I can't do this myself. This could even be saying that she may have thought of or tried to free herself <clears throat> of her of her situation on her own. But felt like physically she couldn't. She was going to be, like, stuck in this place where her future would be controlled and weaved by this, you know... Mother energy. All right, so we see justice. Here's this king of coins, and I just saw these two before. The, the five of sword, knight of wand, queen of sword, nine of coin, ten of wands, and judgment. So this is what I'm feeling from this. That Now, I don't know. Again, this is a general reading for entertainment purposes only. But I did, like, feel something so that's why i wanted to ask like did she get an idea like did she know she was gonna like go online on whatever chat thing find and with the intention of finding a person and i'm gonna say part of her looked at it like like this guy was like part of her destiny okay um to come into her life and help weave a new path for her okay that's what i felt so it starts off here with justice and then we have a king of coin and there's a five of sword so i'm feeling like this is representing what it, the justice card it's about well justice is blind um and the balance you know so like this king of coin, this is like the stability for me, like the papa energy, the the energy that's going to bring stability and security. And, and being that it's a turtle, I mean, I could even view this as Nick's energy. I really hope I'm getting his name correct, that this was a person that was maybe introverted in their own little world. She might have recognized that or seen it as they were both kind of like energies that you know were to themselves like the way they found each other you know online um she might have viewed him i just felt this as being slow okay um she may have played up i just felt this being slow where she's really more i think strategic and I think, and I'm not saying that, like, again, I'm not judging anyone's, you know, soul or whatever, or intentions or whatever. I just ask questions and tell you what I feel from the cards and what they mean. But the emperor is a strategic energy. Sometimes I call him, like, Napoleon, you know. In negative, in reverse energy, this is someone that is misusing their power. But I also feel that someone that grew up in this situation would have no other, how else would I expect their brain to work, you know, is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah, this justice card, I mean, I think um, it's kind of saying that Gypsy was really focused on justice, balance, um, seeing this person maybe as someone that, like I said, uh, could help bring stability to her situation, or... If not him, she's looking for someone that's slow. Duh. And who is a masculine energy. This is a king. And that is going to help her maybe find some sort of stability. What I associate with, you know, pentacle energy overall. Help her plant new roots, you know, with this tree here. Um, and this five of swords... 
you know, just uh, the stress and anxiety in her situation, desire to free herself of this, like, hostile situation, maybe even showing, like, you know, she was crying to this person about the hostility in her home, how her, her mother is, like, the, the ruler of her world, keeping her on her knees. This is maybe, you know, the expressing of what's going on, like her expressing to this energy what's happening in her home, okay? This Knight of Wands, this is the energy that is moving and it's action and it's passion-driven. Um, wand energy, maybe, you know, the promise of um, when you come and you do this, or this happens, then once my mother's out of the picture, we can run away together. And, you know, I'm going to get take your wand and celebrate this because uh, I'm so freaking happy about it. I mean, that energy there is pretty happy. And she looks kind of crazy and mad. Like, ha ha ha! I don't know, just felt that. Queen of Swords. Um, you know, this is the energy that... <laughs> Is This could be saying to me that this person, Gypsy, you know, is using the passion, um, like, the movement, the night energy. Like, like you're going to come, action will be taken, and I don't know, this queen energy, she can be cold. Uh, her sword is up, you know. This could show, like, this is the side she's showing... Nick, but this is what she's like, you know, masking this Queen of Sword energy because her goal is the Nine of Coins, which is the independent energy. All right, that's an energy that's independent. So, like, this is someone who's willing to, like, and this could also be saying to me, this is someone willing to do whatever they have to to have action be taken, and they're using their smarts here. Okay? This Queen of Swords. She's not stupid. Um, yeah. I mean, this this is all... Trying to, like, guide the web of destiny. And this... I don't want to mess up his name. Oh, it's, it's the African, um... It's like a god, but it's like a folklore, and uh, he weaves tales, you know, manipulates things. Um, and he could be pretty sneakies. I don't know. And this Ten of Wands, so this is the burden. This is like, you know, this tree, and there's the tree here, like seeing this person as the person that's going to help her escape her old life. That skull there, I'm just seeing the mother, you know, she... Um, seeing the mother as the burden, you know, and once I can release from this burden, I can root, I can, I can feel some sort of stability through this person's demise. Like, they, they have to be gone for me to feel like I can grow and be free and have some sto sort of uh, life so I can flourish in some sort of way. That's what I felt. And it's ending with judgment, and I'm really feeling like this is saying to me, that Gypsy, at this point, like in this dealing with Nick and everything leading up to this day, was like, she wasn't caring about, I really feel like this is what I'm feeling from this card. This is the judgment card. Um, I'm feeling like it's saying to me, Gypsy just was worried about being judged at this point by the higher power, and for her, she doesn't feel like the higher power is judging her in a poor, a poor light, if you know what I'm saying. That's what I feel. I even feel like she feels like she did the right thing. That's what I felt. And just for the giggles of it, since I have this here, this, this deck, my Gypsy Oracle deck, let's just see um, what comes out. So, 
What did Gypsy feel like in this moment? What did she think was going to happen? Like to her, to Nick? Because I'm not feeling like she was sorry or had remorse at all. Show us um, something about that day specifically, if you can. Mm, all right. So, malady, which is like the person that's sick, okay? I think these are relevant to this day. Um, young woman. These are uh, oracle cards. They're kind of bizarre. So, um, scholar. And then I feel like this goes to the book that I felt here. Like, she's laying in bed sick. She's, she's realizing, I'm a young woman. I'm becoming a young woman. I'm feeling things that I didn't feel before. And I think reading certain things gave her thoughts in her head about, like, and in, in a room, she's this young woman, she's sick, kept in bed, just reading, smarter than other people, are, you know what I'm saying? Not realizing all the stuff she's learning, sitting in this room, just in this room. Faithfulness, right? I see widower on the bottom. Faithfulness, knowing. I'm really feeling like she read something that influenced, like, realizing she could kind of manipulate destiny and do it with, through using a masculine energy. And knowing, like, it has to be someone that's as faithful as a dog. You know, she may have even felt like once, you know, she got rid of and was free of the mother because the fortune is under this. She may have really believed like she wasn't going to get in trouble because she was not the one who did the actual act. Okay? And thought like, yeah, I'm going to write a book. You know? And this is the person that's showing off. All right. Um, all right, I don't know. I was just curious what those codes are. Well, that's what came out for that. Um, I'm going to pause it, put these cards back, and I think quickly look at the current energy. Okay, let's uh, try to see if we can peek through the blinds of the current energy. And if you want to support, if you're still here... And uh, you like what I do here and you want to support what I do, you can like the video if you're not subscribed. Please consider doing so. It super helps my channel out. I super appreciate that. Thank you in advance. If you want to donate to me, you can buy me a coffee. And if you guys want personal reads, send me an email. That info's in my description. Right now, let's see, though, if we can tune into the current energy. Gypsy Rose. Again, this is a general reading. It's for entertainment purposes only. But let's see if we can uh, tune in, please, to the current energy of Gypsy Rose. Um, show me what's representing Gypsy currently, please. What is the current energy surrounding this person? All right, the seven of wands is on the bottom, and that's the person that's f feeling like they got to protect themselves. Um, yeah. All right, so she might be feeling right now, like this is current, so she might be feeling, you know, uh, a bit attacked. All right, let's see this. All right, um, in reverse, I see a... We have an Eight of Cup, and we have a Page of Sword. So, the Eight of Cups is the energy that's walking away from cups. These cups are holding emotions, loves, feelings, memories. Things this energy really still has feelings for, but whatever's in them is not serving them. So they gotta walk away. They walk away. In reverse, sometimes it's like the person having trouble walking away. 
like going back. All right. So this could be saying that she could be actually getting triggered. Like she got out and was like embraced. This is just what I'm feeling from this. So I'm just going to say it. Like she got out. She was feeling embraced. Everyone wants to hear her story. They're encouraged to go up on TikTok. Girl, make your story. I want to, girl, talk, talk, talk. Tell us, tell us, tell us. And then she does. And now everyone's kind of turning on her. Uh, maybe, or that's how she, she might be feeling. Like, now she's very, uh, like, it could be reverting her to old feelings, like, like her mother, like love her, hate her, you know, the, I, the whole thing. And this page of sword, you know, sometimes we say this is the person that is spying online, like, instead of talking, they're stalking, they're watching in the distance, they, or they're trying to get information, they want information, sometimes it's someone giving information, sometimes it's someone that's holding information back. So I'm gonna say she could be actually feeling some sort of stuff, this could represent that she's, like, unhealthily seeing what's being said, you know, online, and stuff, or what people are saying, and feeling, and thinking, and it might be getting to her. Um, what's his? So, I see this to a sword. Uh, well, this is a person that they're blocking off their heart, their eyes are closed. That moon there, usually, for me, this is like the person that they're not facing a certain truth. I'm feeling like this has to do how people are saying, how people are saying, like, she's not taking responsibility for her, like, kind of what I just saw peeking back. Like, I didn't do it, you know? And it could be, like, deep within, she's either feeling like, okay, there is some sort of guilt, maybe, that she's not facing, maybe it's triggering stuff, I don't know. Um... Or, she's not, she feels like what we just, again, for entertainment purposes only, it's, you know, allegedly, whatever, you know. She could feel like deep down, she did what she had to do. That she had to block her heart off and close her eyes to the connection with this mother energy and that, you know, people that are saying what they're saying don't really understand. But she's keeping that to herself because she feels like, if you all don't understand now, what can she possibly say to make people see from her eyes kind of thing? That's just what I'm feeling, so I'm just saying it. This Eight of Wands, this represents messages coming in um, quickly, you know? So this could represent, like, the messages that she's see, like... This eight and this eight, you know, could be connected to, like, the feelings and, like, the messages, the triggering to the old days, the old feelings. Um, and also, maybe this could represent also her wanting to move away from this. Because the eight of wands is also about, like, it's fast moving. So these messages and stuff she's seeing in the flip of how people are being supportive or whatever could be making her feel like she wants to, like, run away. Maybe even, like, I just felt this. She could be feeling uh, regrets or feelings now about what she put in her book. I just felt that. I don't know. Now, and this is the Queen of Coins. Um, and we did see the King of Coin before. So, I'm just covering her there a little because YouTube, her, her boobs. Um... Now, I am really the snake is standing out to me in the card. So I don't know if she's feeling like she just was trying to get some form of stability, you know, for her future, for her life. Like, I've been locked up. All this stuff happened to me. Everything in my past that I'm trying to move away from. You guys won't let me forget it now. Like, even if I did want to just come out and live my life, how the hell was I supposed to get you know, some sort of, like, coin for my future, you know? And you guys all, uh, one here, well, that's what, that's what you guys said. You wanted to know. You wanted the information. Page of Swords, you know? But now you're getting it, and it's like, now you don't want it, you know? Now, now it's like, uh... And, um, yeah, she could be feeling 
like, you know, the way she's getting her stability is being judged like it's sneaky. Or she's like a snake. <laughs> Psst. <laughs> what I felt. But she's just trying to get her piece. You know, and I said that meaning like her piece of the coin, the piece of the pie. But maybe it's also about peace of mind, peace of soul, some, whatever that means for her. Or, after what she's been through. And, um... Not knowing another way, like, what else is she, what else am I supposed to do <laughs> to get my coin, to get m my stability, all right? What I, uh, um, that's what I'm feeling there. And I think I just want to quickly ask, yeah, and then seeing this, it's like the creative, like, the Ace of Wands, like, really, you know, paintbrush, like, um, the words, like, I'm connecting this to the book and the magician, her trying to manifest in her eyes, she's just trying to manifest a way to have some sort of stability. And this could even, like, represent that her hooking up with that guy, for her, you know, she's just trying to get some stability. Something she feels like she didn't have ever before. So, I don't know. And I think I just want to ask real quick about her husband. I said it like that because I wasn't sure if they were legally married, but they are, right? So I just want to ask, I just want to know what that person's energy is because some people, you know, it's questionable, the whole thing. What is, um, and I don't remember his name, but basically, show me this guy's energy. You know who I'm talking about, cards. I just want to see his and if there's questions I didn't ask and you wish I did, leave in the comments, let me know. Um, maybe I'll do a room if people are interested, you know, peeking on their connection. Um, what's this guy's energy? What's his intentions, his energy towards Gypsy? The Two of Coins. Nine of Coins, Strength, and this Wheel of Fortune. Well, the two of coins came out in reverse. So I don't know if I'm feeling that means this person was looking for, like, like they, like they were juggling their feelings. But now they're not. I don't know. There's nine of coins. Um, and there's a seven of swords. And I see this sun peeking out. This could be someone that <clears throat> sees some sort of benefit by being with her, because that's there she is again. And I'm relating this now to when we saw before her energy, like to that day, to that energy back then. So he can see there could be some sort of like profit by weaving the web, guiding destiny along. This to me says that this person has an agenda to the future with her. Like, he sees something to be benefited. And I don't know, the Seven of Swords, if you're new to my readings, if you're not new to my readings, you know how I feel in general about the Seven of Swords. It's a lie, a sneak, sometimes a thief. I actually thought I was going to see this card before, for her. Just, you know, because of how I associate with the manipulative nature of a person. I, Of all the cards, it's one of the cards I dislike the most when it represents an energy. I almost I almost rather see the devil card sometimes. Because that's how much I dislike this card. How it makes me feel about a person. And that sun there makes me feel like... This energy... They lie about the new beginning they want to have. Or the new beginning they're offering Gypsy. <clears throat> and their reasons. I don't know. This saying to me that they want to manipulate um, this person. And maybe even take take their coins. I don't know. Mm. Alright, that's what I'm seeing. I'm going to end that there. Alright. Um, you guys let me know what you think. Bye. Oy, oy, oy. All right, hopefully I see you guys next time.